Hi everybody. So a few people have asked about um, how we go about making a matching bracelet and ring set. Um, and we wanted to kind of show a video of how this process goes. Um, and it, it's something that works for us. It's kind of a unique process. Um, and it's fairly easy to do. We do use a ring core from Craft Supplies. Um, you can also get them in a few other places. Uh, the, depending on the quality of the ones you want, these are stainless steel and have a little rounded edge right here. It's kind of nice. Um, they do go up in quality from there and you can get split cores and everything. But I'm not here to talk about that today. Uh, we're, we'll be using a ring core for this process. Um, we had a request um, by someone for a, a set. Uh, and we're going to try to make it today in a size 8. Um, one thing I would advise you to do is to have multiple sizes of these cores with you. Um, and um, because you're not always successful, the hard part is getting it drilled out to fit the core perfectly. And if you go over size, your best bet is to kind of abandon that one and go to the next size up. Um, so in this case, this is a size eight, and if I don't get the hole just right and I'm too wobbly, then I would go to a size nine um, to save the, the core and the bracelet. Um, we, we make and sell these hybrid blanks. Um, they're basically a hockey puck. Uh, in this case, these are about three inches, and I can make them in different widths depending on what you want. Um, you know, as wide as you want them. Um, we we do them in a multiple of colors and a multiple of burls. Um, and yeah, so this one was uh, the one we just cast, and I haven't cleaned it up. This is what they look like all cleaned up. Uh, this one just came out of the casting process and it's ready to get cleaned up. I thought it would be a good example. You'll see me clean it up and um, and take it all the way into hopefully into a ring and a bracelet. So I just use a, uh, a glue chuck for these. Um, that's the easy way for me to do them. You could use a jaws, you could use a chuck with jaws and use like a rubber band around it to try to keep it um, from marring the surface and then keep flipping it over and working both ways. Um, there, there's multiple ways you can do it. It's really up to you what um, you have available at your disposal um, and what you would, um, which what you're comfortable of doing. So again, there's more ways to do it than, than one. And we're just gonna use hot glue to fix this. And I'm using a center finder just to find center here for me. And we're gonna mark it attempt to and this doesn't have to be perfect it just needs to be fairly close it's easier to do this when they're already trued up which uh, if we sell you a blank they do come crewed up already Anyhow, um, this one has kind of got a rough edge, so I may not be exactly centered, but uh, we'll get center marked. We'll get my tailstock ready to, to go on the center spot. And then this is just regular um, hot glue, hot melt glue, and we run a nice bead around it. Um, this stuff does hold really well um, as long as you don't get aggressive with it it'll stay put pretty well um, whenever you have the chance it's always good to leave the tailstock uh, and do tailstock up and mount it and um, as an additional support and especially until the glue dries. I'm going to try to just go through this process today. I'm not going to talk all day um, and explain every process to you. 
we're just going to just do it and it's going to be more of a watching video instead of an instructional one but um, hopefully you all get the gist of it and if you have questions feel free to shoot us questions in the comments um, of the video so this one is I believe if I remember right I know it's got pine cones in it and I'm not sure what piece of burl was in it I think it was uh, either black cherry or walnut I'm not sure I cast this one though a week or two ago and um, uh, got it ready and then I've been waiting to get some information on it um, get some fuel tools out here and then we'll get started
So that's kind of our process um, for making rings and bracelets, matching sets, uh, kind of cool. But it's a lot of fun. Um, and um, yeah, uh, we do cast all our blanks in Alumalite, um, Alumalite clear resin, not to be confused with Alumalite clear, Amazing Clear Cast, which is an epoxy. We use a urethane resin, Amazing Clear, uh, or Alumalite clear. Anyhow, um, and all the material that goes into our blanks is stabilized prior. Uh, this, in this case, was um, uh, some black cherry. Um, gorgeous piece. So, um, anyhow, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask or shoot us a message. And we'll see if we can get them answered for you. Otherwise, have a great day.